The first phase of ventricular stimulation, septal stimulation, is the left to right spread of the depolarization stimulus through the septum. The spread of stimulation to the right during the first phase produces a small positive deflection R wave in lead V1. The left to right spread of septal stimulation produces a small negative deflection Q wave in lead V6. The second phase of ventricular stimulation is the spread of stimulation to the left ventricle, resulting in a negative deflection in the right precordial leads and a positive deflection in the left precordial leads. Lead V1 shows a deep negative S wave, and lead V6 displays a tall positive R wave. In summary, with normal QRS patterns, lead V1 shows an RS type of complex. The small initial R wave represents the left to right spread of septal stimulation. This wave is sometimes referred to as the septal R wave because it reflects septal stimulation. The negative S wave reflects the spread of ventricular stimulation forces during phase two away from the right and toward the dominant left ventricle. Conversely, viewed from an electrode in the V6 position, septal and ventricular stimulation produces a QR pattern. The Q wave is a septal Q wave reflecting the left to right spread of the stimulus through the septum away from lead V6. The positive R wave reflects the leftward spread of ventricular stimulation voltages through the left ventricle.